We're back once again for another episode of Adventures in the Thrift Shop. So today we're actually at Carmel, Indiana at Goodwill. That's uh, used to be my honey hole, as I like to call it. It used to be phenomenal. Used to be. <laughs> Not much anymore, though. But uh, the wife is with us, and so we're going to see if we can find any treasures inside. So uh, come along for the adventure, but stay for the entertainment. We got plenty of women's shoes here right now, that's for sure. Let's head back here to their new racks first to see what they got going on over here. Very green. It's almost St. Patty's Day though. Blue red. What do we got? Hmm. Kind of limited. We got your, your pink, your fleshy tones. That's about it. There's not much available. There's a hot dog cart. Oh my, that is awesome. That is totally awesome. I've never seen a hot dog cart at Goodwill. $1,000. $1,000. That is so awesome. So cool. Oh, and there's a hot I have dog. never imagined I'd find a hot dog cart at a Goodwill. I mean, if, if you bought this, it pretty much, it, it pays for itself. Yeah. It kind of would actually. This is actually ultra cool. <laughs> that is, that's actually pretty cool. That's crazy. So for a thousand bucks, you start up your own business right now. I mean, it's already called Larry's Wiener's Wagon. Larry's Wiener's Wagon. <laughs> it does. Larry's Wiener Wagon. <laughs> that is cool. Something I never expect to see at no. a Goodwill. And it looks like it's in decent shape. It's decent too. shape. As long as the like inners work with all the, the power to it. Yeah, if it was if it was like a hundred bucks, I'd probably buy it. But a thousand. And yeah, for a thousand now, I mean that's pretty much I mean, top that's a business. Top of like, the line. You would want to start a business. With that. It's a fancy doll. Who's the doll supposed to be? Distributed by my CVS pharmacy. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's it is nothing of value. Oh, here we go. CVS, nineteen ninety nine. So yeah. Christina. Christina collection. Hmm. Looks like all like the These CVS dolls stuff. Never work. No. I mean, once in a blue blue moon, oh, yeah. they might be worth something. Porcelain dolls are one thing you just don't want to get into because you you would think that they'd be valuable, but honestly, few and far between are actually worth much beyond like retail price, and half of them aren't even worth like the retail price. It's a happy cry. That's how I feel when I'm with you. You make me giggle so much. A happy cry. Ooh. Trains. Train. Ten, ten bucks. Oh, that could be a good thing. That sport. could be very expensive. What kind of trains are they? I don't know. Rio Grande. It's plastic, but it doesn't mean it's not bad though, because no, some of the fancy plastic. ones are plastic and they, and they go for like 50 bucks. I'm just looking for like a, the brand of them. Just to kind of like see, see like, like the bottom of the it. Bottom of it. Looking for like a name or a brand on the bottom. Just not seeing it without tearing up this, this entire thing. Made in China, of course. Was in everything? Yeah. What do you think for 10 bucks plus the military 
veteran discount on top of the ten dollars i mean i think it might be worth a gamble there's a plush toy down there too of some sort oh there's some more plush toys down there hmm. like smiley face they look like kool-aid they look like the kool-aid uh toys it says train track i'll go grab a yeah go grab a cart yeah yeah, we'll go ahead. We'll we will pick this up just because, you know, for ten ten bucks, pretty cheap gamble on this. Then we'll do a lot more research later on and see exactly what the stuff is in here. Let's see what we got over here. There's a kind of a KitchenAid power mixer, window fan, Radio Shack weather thing, some kind of old Panasonic alarm clock. Not, not a whole lot of value there. There's a telephone. Football. Looks like it has to go to some kind of game, I bet. It's like a button right there. Ab slide. Guaranteed to work. Give you a six pack. Five bucks. Nope. Not for me. Here comes the cart. Not at all. Yeah. We'll take a chance on that for only ten, ten bucks. I think this place gets like a 10% discount for uh, veterans here. 10 15%. So it'll be like maybe like nine bucks for that. That's worth the gamble. And if it all, if. I used to have one of these, like this, growing up. Yeah, we had one just like it too, but ours is yellow. This is avocado green. We had the same thing. We had harvest gold. Because ours were, I think, from yard sales that, that we bought back in the 80s. Ours probably was too. From a yard sale. Actually, it has some value to it. It's kind of very, it's very vintage. You want me to look it up? So they might have value. I don't know, I'm not 100% sure though. But a lot of people do like the vintage. Um, you gotta find the. Yeah. A lot of people do like like the vintage stuff. If like you're trying to like stage a house or something like that, if you want to go for like oh, a yeah. like a vintage look, that's a great piece. Just like as like a house stager, even if that is not there. You can still use it as like a staging piece for like a dated time era kind of a thing, which is pretty cool. You know, just these things will have value to them. Just the attachments. Here's one right here in yellow that sold for $25 plus $22. And shipping and to Canada. That was Canada. Yeah, that's one we had. Ours was like yellow colored. So just like the little tongue pieces I'm seeing, some of those go for like six bucks, 10, uh -huh. 10 bucks a piece. So, and they're so asking like just, $4.99 for For this. just these might go for like between five and 10 bucks a piece. So this might be it's something like to. The, but they're sold for $14 shipped for those two. Yep. For just that, it's like 14 bucks shipped on eBay. Yeah. So this might be a pickup thing. We'll pick it up. Here we go with toys, one of my favorite departments to find. Uh, here's some sports cards. Department to find some like sealed board games which go for some pretty good money, but found a thing of sports cards for two dollars what is in this Ooh, almost dropped the whole thing well we got a lot of cards we got football in there too so right here on top we got willie mcgee we got willie randolph down here i saw a uh, earl hershizer vince coleman well, they got some 85 tops and 86 tops. You know what? We'll pick this up. We'll go through this later and see if there's anything good in there. For two two bucks, there might be some key card from the 80s in that thing for only $2. Two bucks. I'll, I'll take take the gamble on that. They'll probably just be full of just common cards from the 80s, but I will take the chance. Go back to these games again. School, nothing good. Nothing good here. Here's a vintage triple Yahtzee. That is probably like what 
early 80s, I bet. Ooh, 1978. I think it's factory sealed still. 10 bucks. They're asking six for it. No. You found some more vintage? Well, this was a Montgomery Ward one, so I just thought I'd look it up. Some of these um, Montgomery Ward ones, now they have all the accessories, but yeah. 30 with 11.55 in shipping. So, I mean, that's the only one right there. Just There's others listed. The only one is sold. The only one is sold, and it had all the accessories. Too. Yeah, that makes a big difference. Look like somebody cleaned out their garage because you've got a. Ooh, here's the Samsung V Gear VR Oculus. I'm not sure that has any value to it. I'll look it up. For five ninety nine. Some of these VRs go for like two hundred bucks. If this is one of them, I don't know. But I mean, it is it is a name brand Samsung. We'll look that up. See, see what we got. So there's actually some pretty. Pretty good stuff here this time at Goodwill, which is surprising. This place used to be like my honey hole. I'd find stuff like this every time. And this time we're actually finding stuff again. I mean, if you had the box and everything, oh, it's like 20 it's bucks. Like 20 bucks. Oh. So nothing over here. The Fugitive, factory sealed, $2.99. One of the best games of all time. Missing the Modern Warfare 2, PlayStation three or two three here's a brand new dvd game sequel pack movie edition look that up really quick so it has any value on ebay sells for like five bucks so that's a it's a no-go everything you need to know to buy and sell gold today i'm actually trying to, to actually learn how to uh what properly to invest in and what to buy. There's like all these random slots. So much that thing costs. Maybe it counts as kind of like a book. Here we go. Yeah, this is my fifth day. Don'ts for husbands, 1913. Huh. Then we have don'ts, don'ts for wives, wives, 1913. That's funny. This is printed in 1913. Don't for husbands. Don't drop cigarette ash all over the drawing room carpet some people will tell you that it improves the colors but your wife won't care to try that recipe don't throw cigar ends into the bowl of water your wife keeps in front of the gas fire they are not ornamental and she will not be pleased don't increase the necessary work of the house by leaving all your things lying about in different places if you are not tidy by nature at least be thoughtful for others don't sit down to breakfast in your shirt sleeves in hot weather on the ground that only your wife is present <laughs> it's different. Okay. It's funny. So here, here's the women's. Don't set your husband up on a pedestal and then cry when you find that he is only an ordinary man after all. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be talked down by your husband when you want to express your views on any subject. You have the right, right to, to be, be heard. heard. <laughs> Don't be rude to people when you dislike or, whom, you dislike. Oh, whom you dislike or your husband will have just cause to, to be, be ashamed, ashamed of you. you politeness costs nothing wow don't expect to know your husband inside and out within a month of marriage for a long time you will be making discoveries file them for the for future reference hmm. that's different there's no prices on them you think they'd probably be free for that size so I always have to check places like this for any kind of signed books. That's kind of, it's kind of my thing. Nope. Mm -mm. Well, they can say, that'd be cool signed. Nope. I've actually found, oh, here's a Miley Cyrus. That'd be cool signed. Nope. Yeah, you won't always find signed books, but you have a very good possibility of actually finding signed books if you just look. Because I have found dozens of signed books at thrift stores. Dozens. There's a Tony Dungy. I already looked at it. He did. I already found his signed one time. He usually signs the, the blue inside cover of that. That's a library book. Mm -hmm. <laughs> actually, last time we were out, I actually found this book actually signed the last time at a Goodwill. 
John Glenn, an astronaut, be cool sign. Nope. Well, that's about it, actually. So we're going to pick it picking up. I'm gonna. I don't know. I might get this the gold thing, but we're gonna get this little two dollar box of baseball cards. I actually might unbox this on video to see. Actually, I might actually do that. Unbox this on video, cards on video to see if we find anything good in these these two things. So this was ten bucks, two bucks, and then in the little mixer thing, the vintage is five dollars. So we're gonna be spending a total of seventeen bucks in here, and hopefully we got a good score. We'll find out. So thank you for watching this time and we'll see you next time and the adventures in the thrift shop small up done the way out actually walking up to check out i found two things brand new with tags look at these here's a boston red sox 4740 hat or just a 47 brand hat brand new with tags still for only 99 cents so that is a good score for these like about 20 bucks then i found a pair of o'neill santa cruz board shorts Brand new with tags, MSRP is $38 on these. And uh, I looked on eBay, it's between like 20 and 30 bucks for this pair of board shorts. If they want $2 for it. So these two items are gonna cost three bucks. It might sell between like 30 and $40 for both. So that's some crazy value. So, okay, that's it. This video is over with. See you next time. Small update, bye. <laughs> bye.